Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. Um, today in this video, we're going to talk about some enhancements that we've made to the scheduler feature in Table 360. So here I'm on my Document 360 team, and we've delegated cost management to this team in the organisation. And this team want to create some automations to be able to um, automate the shutdown and scale up, scale down of resources. So what they can do is they're on the, the users on the optimization tab up here, and we have the scheduler feature over here. And I'm able to now make a schedule to implement this automation. So if I click the little plus button here, we'll create a new schedule called test. We can then define some up and down hours when the um, schedule is going to be enabled or not. So what I might do here is green means scale it up and turn it on. Red means scale it down and turn it off. I can also support things like recurrence and make this happen every other week, make it a monthly schedule and things like that. And then what I would do next is I'll choose some resources to add to this um, schedule. So a good example here might be, um, if I look at my app service plans, we'll just query what we've got available. So here I can see on the right hand side, we've got some plans which are um, currently reserved. So these may not be the best plans to put on the schedule because we're already committing to using those and being covered by a reservation, it means I'm not going to save a huge amount of money and I'm, I'm actually going to lower the utilization of my reservation. So you can see actually the, the name of the reservation that's picking it up as well is showing up. Now, I do have a plan down here which doesn't have a reservation on it. So what I might choose to do is I might say, right, this plan here is a P1 V2 currently. And what I want to do is when the schedule goes red, we want to change the size of the plan so it's a smaller plan. So a good example might be I might drop that down to a basic B1 out of hours. So Turbo 360 will see the transition to the red time. It'll go and resize this app service, make it smaller. Then overnight, it'll be a reduced size, so we'll be saving some money. And then in the morning, just before we start work, it'll scale it back up to a P1 V2. Now, the most common scenarios where people use this feature are things like shut a VM off in the evening and turn it back on in the morning. Um, shrink the size of my VM, so maybe instead of it being a large, we might make it a medium and then inflate it back up in the morning. We do things like SQL Azure, so maybe I'll shrink the DTUs and shrink the vCores and scale it back up in the morning. And then there's some other less, um, less common scenarios, things like um, data factory pipelines, we can pause them and stuff like that. So we've had this feature for quite a long time. It's really popular with customers because it's just easy to implement the automation. And you can allow your DevOps engineer who's writing loads of PowerShell and Bash scripts, automating loads of DevOps pipelines. They can spend their time focusing on the hard problems that a DevOps engineer can supply loads of value to. Here, what we can do is we can just delegate to the teams to allow them to self-service their own automation so they can focus on making the changes, um, having the automation do the job for them. They can set it up themselves and let the DevOps expert focus their time where you really need that expert working. Now, the bit that we've enhanced is um, we've added support for things like maintenance windows. So let's say on this schedule, we can go and create a pause scenario. So what we might say is, Things like, right, I've got a one-off um, overtime activity next weekend. So I may say, let's go to Saturday and we'll pause the schedule maybe on Saturday morning and we'll re-enable it on Sunday night, something like that. So we could go, you know, enable it, say, 8 p.m. Sunday night. So that would be like a one-off um sort of instance where we want to pause the schedule because we're doing overtime or we may have a one-off maintenance window. I can also add a rule if I've got like a regular um, maintenance window. So here I've turned on, a, like I've added a weekly one. So maybe every Sunday night we might have 
a bunch of backups being done so we want to pause the schedule so it doesn't do um, it doesn't do stuff on Sunday night and we can also do a monthly recurrence so we could say let's say the second Tuesday of every month between um, time one and time two we'll pause the schedule because we're doing some activities on a regular basis so um, again we've had some really good feedback from customers on this feature because when you implement automations there's always those edge case scenarios where you want to you want to be able to have the automation not do the job you, you normally have it doing because there's some activity going on um, so hopefully making it simple to maintain and set up is really what we're trying to achieve here um, thank you for listening to today's video have a great week